Good morning. <laughs> What's up, Facebook family? This is your girl, Quadria Marie, big hair and all. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Just on computer, just looking, browsing, chatting with everybody while I have a little time on my hand before I head out the door and run my little errands that I have to do on Sunday because I'm so busy the rest of the work week. I have no choice but to do everything on the weekend, including thinking of other ways to, to hustle out here. So good morning, what's up, Mr. D. Jamal Hickson. I haven't spoken to you in a while, probably because of what I just said. I'm always, always, always doing something, so I'm just like, just relaxing myself a little bit this morning before the afternoon hits. I hope everybody had a great weekend so far. I know mine was, was pretty good for the most part. I was just out doing things. I wanted to do more, but sometimes when you have priorities, you have to remember, okay, I have to take care of this first before I go and do the other things. And a lot of times the stuff that you have to take care of isn't so fun. So sometimes you have to push, push excuse me, push aside all the, the good fun stuff until you know you're able to so that's what I've been you know up to this past weekend like I said just enjoying myself and just trying to find different ways you know to make money and, and not just money but to keep going um, pushing uh, my, my, my goals that I have in mind I actually have to go back and look at the things that I wrote down that I said I'm gonna work on so that's very important when you write down something try to work on it so don't just put it to the side and the next week comes and the next week comes and it's just sitting there in the same spot that you left it when you wrote it so you know i'm just feeling blessed it is sunday i'm looking forward to um the work week uh, for me mondays is like my favorite day of the week one of my favorites because it's a fresh start to me but technically sunday is really um, the first day of the week so as you guys see, you know, I, I posted on, on my personal Facebook um, just about, you know, using um, your gifts. I always tell people, don't let your gifts go to the side. I have it here, my little post that I put up <laughs> that you can get fired from a job, but you can't get fired from your gift. So find your gift and you will always um, have work or find work, however you want to, you know, put it yourself. And, you know, that's, that's really the truth, something I've, I've discovered um, myself. And people have always told me, you know, work, you know, work on your gift and everything else will, will come. And that's really the truth. Sometimes it's really hard when you're out here and you're trying to take care of uh, other things. You're trying to, you know, pay your bills. Um, you're trying to take care of uh, your car note, car insurance, uh, all these different things that you have going on. And you're trying to balance, um, you know, family, friends, um, dating, relationships on top of, following um, your passions and trying to discover what your gift is. I know someone posted under my comment, he's not even sure what his gift is, and I'm sure he's not the only one. There's a lot of people out here, you know, we're all told that we have, you know, gifts from God, yet we don't always know exactly what that is. Sometimes your gift is right in front of you, like directly is <laughs> right in front of you. It's very obvious, possibly to other people. But it's not obvious to you. And people look at you like there's something wrong with you. If they're coming at you like, well, why don't you use this? Why don't you do this? You have this talent. You have this skill. Sometimes you may, not, you may not see it or you may not look at it as a particular useful skill in life. You may look at it as just something that you like to do, something that you're capable of doing, but you don't see it as a possible gift that you can give um, to the world and use to help the world. So that's what I always try to encourage people. I just wanted to come on this morning. Good morning. Good morning, MJ. What's up, Kevin? I just wanted to come on this morning, just encourage you guys to try to use your gifts. Don't think that, you know, you're, you're too old or you passed your prime or, you know, that your opportunities has passed. We've all, all of us have had plenty of opportunities come and go. Some that we grab, some of them we just we just let go and you know that's it there's nothing that you can do about it so you just can't sit there and stress yourself over something that's already happened you know it's done <laughs> it's already gone you know the opportunity has gone that doesn't mean that there aren't any more that's coming your way and that's how you have to think of things you have to think like my best days are still yet to come you know yes we've we've shared and you know had fun and great experience in life but you have to still believe that there's still better um days to come 
as I said, some of your best days have yet to come. We have to really believe that. You know, I, I've seen and, you know, I've lost a lot of uh, friends. Some, you know, I was just Facebook friends. Some, you know, I've known, you know, for 20, 25 years that I've lost. And, you know, when that happens to you so, so many times and it's just, you know, back to back losses, people, you know, under, you know, 40 years old, some under 35 years old, 30 years old. And it just makes you want to go and push yourself more because now you're thinking like this person, they're no longer here, but they too had a lot of goals and, and I'm, I'm pretty sure dreams and aspirations. Some of them, you know, like I said, I was friends with for years. So I was aware of these, all these things that, you know, that they were working on and that, you know, passions and gifts that they were aware of that they had and they wanted to, you know, continue to share with everyone and, you know, they're still here in spirit. You know, God bless, you know, all my my friends and family that I've lost. They're obviously still here because I'm talking about them. But, um, you know, they're not here, you know, in the physical to do, you know, all the things that, you know, I know that they wanted to do. So because I'm still here, my physical vessel is still here on earth, that is actually encouraging me to go and pursue my gifts, even as I'm discovering things. People always tell me, Quadria, you know, you're, you're talented, you know, obviously, you know, speaking or, or interviewing, all those things that everybody knows. I always talk about media-related stuff. But um, even for myself, I'm still discovering certain things about myself that, you know, I, I didn't realize 10 years ago or 15 years ago. I wish I did realize it. Maybe I would have been, you know, at a certain level, but I can't stay stuck in that. If you stay stuck, you'll never, never, ever get... Um, get ahead if you keep worrying about the past or, like I said, worrying about your age. Yeah, you should definitely have in mind, you know, that, you know, time is limited. You know, you do have to get things done. But also don't, you know, get yourself in that rut where it's just like, that's it. You know, you know, game is over. Your game is not over until it is over. So just go out and just, you know, pursue things. Talk to, you know, your friends, your relatives, your coworkers. Just ask them, some, you know, certain things about yourself that, you know, that they see positive, good things about you, things that they see within you that maybe you can, you know, later pursue um, beyond just a hobby, you know, possibly a money make making skill that you may have. And like I said, a lot of times people see things in you that you yourself don't see, good and good and bad now. <laughs> There's things that other people see in you that you just may have a blockage, you know, as far as. But it's nice when you start to become, you know, self-aware of things, especially things that you have to work on, and just look at it. He's like, well, maybe, you know, it's a, it's a negative now. It's a weakness now. You know, we all have, you know, those things. How can I turn these into positives? How do I turn these into strengths of mine? So, you know, we all have things to work on. I don't care, you know, if you're 10, 20, 60, 80 years old. There's always something that you have to work on. And that's all you, that's all you can really do now. You know, as we're going into 2020, start gearing yourself up for the new year coming in. You know, you don't have to wait, obviously, the jab way first. You know, that's always the hardest part, waiting until that first day. And all of a sudden, that day comes, and you're just like, mm. <laughs> You're just looking, and you're like, wait, I said I was going to do all these things. And then the next day comes, and next week, and you're still doing the same thing that you were doing the year before and the year before that. So you really do have to start getting in that, that habitual run or whatever you like, guys want to call it. Get yourself <laughs> together so that when a new year does come in you know you're already used to it it won't be such a big you know big thing hitting you because it's a lot it's a lot when you sit down and actually say i want to make these changes and you know it sounds good when you're saying it out loud or you're even writing it down on paper but it's way different when you're actually putting action towards it and you feel good about yourself when you say i'm going to work on you know losing five pounds or i'm going to you know start working or something else, you know, whatever project that you said that you were going to do, whether it's to write a book or anything like that, just start, just start doing it. That's, that's pretty much all you can do. You know, I, I'm a, I'm a big believer in planning, but I'm also learning you can't just sit and plan stuff. You really have to start working on some of those plans as you're working out what you're doing. So, you know, while you're out planning things and writing down things and typing and talking to people and networking, all those things, you still have to go out and, and work on it. You know, and it's, it's hard. Sometimes, you know, when you're, you know, here in this first step, you're already thinking about step number 10. And, you know, you, you know a lot of people a lot of times don't, don't want to, you know, think about or do the work in between those steps. <laughs> and there's a lot uh, between there. It's not like you can't get to, you know, the step 10 
But if you're on step one or two, you, you really do have to go through those steps. And this is hard. It really is hard because I'm going through it too where I, I see all these big things at the end and I'm just like, okay, how am I going to get there? So I've learned to incorporate my, my, my close friends who all know, you know, the things that I'm, I'm working on and I reach out to them and they're like, Quad, we got you. We're going we're gonna to help push you. We're going to help motivate you. We're not going to let, you know, go to the wayside. We're not going to let you go out, you know, without pursuing you know, the things that we know that you're capable of doing. And as for myself, in myself too, pushing myself and also pushing uh, my friends and stuff, I talk to them and I tell them, I'm like, no, you can't give up. I know, you know, things is hard now. You know, we're all going through all different, you know, issues in life, you know, family stuff, money stuff, career. When you're in your 30s, y'all, it's, it's crazy as hell. <laughs> it's just so much, it's so much going on because you're just like, it's almost like a little mini midlife crisis. You know, they used to say that your 40s was your midlife crisis, but I'm definitely learning, um, you know, from myself and from, from others that your 30s is really, truly a midlife crisis. Not that you're going to, you know, die by 60, but the fact that your 30s is just you're getting hit with, with so many things, you know, as far as relationships, you know, worrying about settling down, are you going to have family? Where's your career going? When's your next promotion coming? You know, now you're looking, you know, to purchase a house. Now you're looking at your credit. You're like, oh, my God, my credit's here. How am I going to get here? There's just so much going on. And then your body is starting to act crazy now. We all know that. The same stuff that you used to be able to eat when you were 20, you can't eat no more without gassing up in the inside. <laughs> so it's just a lot going on. You're trying to get your mind right. You're trying to get your body right. You're trying to get your finances together. You're trying to get your relationships together. It's just a lot. It's just a lot going on. So sometimes you really just have to just get yourself into one sink and just say, you know what? I'm not going to get myself overwhelmed. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to sit, you know, concentrate, think, but not overthink too much and that's why I've gotten, you know, into meditation as well. Sometimes you really just need to have some type of peace in your mind, in your actual space where you are. People always look at me, they're like, how are you okay with living by yourself? And I'm like, I, I really appreciate this, this time just being alone without any distractions. And I know everybody, you know, out there doesn't have the same advantage that I have of living by myself and my cat. I know everybody else has so much, you know, going on. And, you know, my friends, they tell me, they say, appreciate now. They're like, appreciate the fact that, you know, you're single and you, you live alone, that you don't have all these other things going on as far as within your house. So I am, thank you to my friends, I am appreciating that now because they said once, you know, you get, you know, once you get pregnant or children come in the picture or, you know, husbands, whatever comes into the picture later on, you're going to appreciate, you're going to think about the times that you had by yourself. And I said, okay, you know what? They're right. Let me enjoy this moment now because next year could come and who knows, you know, what's going to happen. So that's what I'm doing right now. But same thing, I'm preaching you guys, trying to work on my gifts while I have this time, while I have the peace of mind that I have <laughs> or that I'm trying to acquire this peace, this, this serenity that I have. So I'm just trying to enjoy that while I'm home, um, while I can sit down and concentrate and, and, and really look at what it is that I have to do. And like I said, talking to other people and just really sitting down and figuring out what it is that I want to do. And, you know, you guys should do the same. Like I said, don't just sit and think, you know, your time has passed. Believe me, it has not. You are still here for a reason. You have not reached your full potential yet. And that's it's something that you should actually be happy about. You should be happy about the fact that you have not reached your height yet. You know, that's something really to think about that you still have a purpose you still have things to do when I say things you really got things to do and sometimes you really like I said sit down and think about it what is it that I really want to do what is it that I really want to leave on this earth what is it that you really want people to remember about you a lot of times you know it's not about all you know all the money you had and all these accolades and things and awards and whatnot it's you know how you you know made how you made people feel what did you give back to them so that's why I said work on your gifts because your gift is a gift you're giving um, back to others it's not for you it's for for other people what's up you guys <laughs> good morning it's still morning yeah, it's still morning I appreciate you guys coming on I'm just trying to bring some um, positivity out into the world I posted about you know having your gift and you know always you know trying to you know use your gift so that it's not looked at as work your gift is actually a reminder that that you're, you're here not to just work for people. 
And I always encourage people, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong, you know, if, you, if you're working to, you know, fulfill your dreams. But when you have something within you that goes beyond, you know, a nine, nine to five job, you have to go and pursue it. So, you know, a lot of people are, are no longer here and they're not able to do it. So there's really not an excuse. The fact that you're here, you know, listening to me or watching me, that you're not out working on, on yourself, bettering yourself so that you are out here and you feel like you're contributing to the world. Because that's what it's about, feeling like you are, you know, you, you, you are, that you matter, that you are here and that you matter and that you're an important person, as you all are. <laughs> So I'm just feeling really blessed. I actually woke up this morning feeling um, very positive, and I said, let me get on here and share that positivity with all you guys, all this big, big ass hair on my head. <laughs> I wanted to share all that with you. Sometimes you need to hear it from someone else, that motivation, if you're not getting it within yourself, because it's hard. It's really hard to keep up that, that motivation every single day, and sometimes you need that from the outside. You need someone else to you know, let you know that you're good. You're going to be good. And, you know, God is good. And all your blessings are coming. You're already blessed for sure, but you definitely have bigger blessings coming. And I always tell people, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. So just remember that. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to sign off. I have some errands to run. I have to go food shopping and God knows what else. I might go out for a little, little drink, drink later. I've given up drinking a hard, hard liquor, so I'm, I'm doing good with that. The only thing I drink now is little wines, little pink moscato, and all that stuff. And I'm thinking about going on a keto, keto diet, so I'm gonna look more into that because your girl is trying to lose a few little pounds up there on the side. <laughs> so I'm trying to lose that, and I don't know if you guys are aware, I injured my ankle. A few weeks back so that's why you guys haven't seen me post that I was at the gym and it's been breaking my heart <laughs> it's really been getting to me so I'm working back with my trainer to see how we can um, continue my my workouts that I was doing prior to my my injury because your girl you know that's it that's me the gym is me all day so I have to get back into that because that's my my, my stress reliever when I'm at the gym I could just release everything so I just have to work around it you know, my, my ankle has, has improved since, you know, the last few weeks, but I don't want to re-injure it. I don't want to make it worse, so I do have to be careful, but there are things that um, I can do, you know, to continue my, my progress, because next year, your girl going to be, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm going to be strutting and whatnot even more than I am now, so, you know, that's it. You just got to keep, you know, pushing yourself and, and work around things. Like I said, I'm injured, but I, I mean, I can't use that as 100%, you know, excuse as to why I can't you know, continue working on my health. There's other things that I can do to, to get to um, the results and the goals that I want. I may not be able to run, you know, the same way on, you know, on a treadmill, you know, that I was doing prior um, to my ankle, but there are things I can do. And, you know, as they say, 80% of, you know, your, your, your workout really is what you eat. And that's my, my biggest problem, working on my diet. And that's what I'm going to do. You know, that might make even more, a bigger change for me being the fact that I can't go to the gym and can't do as much as I used to in the gym. I can still be in the gym, but just can't do as much for now until I get myself together. That's them, them 30 year old bones starting to break down, <laughs> starting to break down on me. But you know, again, that's not an excuse. I know people, you know, my age who are actually in better shape now than they were, you know, at 15, at 25. So obviously, you know, you can, you can always get better. You can always improve yourself regardless of how old you are, or how, you know, injured you are. There's always something that you can still do every day just to get yourself, get yourself right. So your girl is going to head out. Um, I got to meet my mom. She's actually messaging me now. So let me get my behind up because <laughs> I don't want to get no beat. I know I'm, I'm old now, 34, y'all, but, you know, mama was still get me if I got her waiting too long. So I hope you guys have a very blessed day. Um, I will let you know when I head back um, as far as uh, the radio station, I will be doing uh, my podcast again, but it's going to be under the On The Q brand. So I will post about that. Um, I also have my, my hoodies, of course, that I'm selling on teespring.com uh, slash On The Q Productions. And and I'm going to, you know, set and put down uh, the link for uh, my page for On The Q production so i'm gonna head out and again like i said I hope you guys have a blessed day i hope you have a wonderful work week if you are going to work wonderful school week as well and for all you entrepreneurs keep hustling keep doing your thing 
and I will talk to y'all soon. All right, peace out, y'all. Love you. <laughs>